Spikes RT blog date, August 26, 2012. <clears throat> so a, a whole month has passed since I uh, did my last blog. I do apologize for the um, for the hiatus. Uh, this was uh, not, not my fault, but um, three words, surface disk error. Um, there was a, a problem with my hard drive on, on my computer, so I had to get that fixed, and which caused me to go um, uh, offline with my blogs for a while. Uh, so I had to borrow someone else's laptop for a while, but I could not uh, post any videos for a while. So um, finally got it fixed. Um, everything is back to normal, and um, let's get going. I um, have some things to share with you. Uh, First of all, um, some of you have been asking about my um, last video about uh, what I am doing. Um, I am actually still in Orlando, Florida right now, uh, but um, I have a video coming up explaining uh, what is going on. That will be coming up very soon, um, so I will get to that. Um, let's see, there is a uh, tenement survey that has been uh, released aimed at free fans 18 or older. Um, this is um, uh, from U University College Cork in Ireland, and it's um, they say that it is intended to gather data on the kinds of people that make up the furry community. This is just like the survey we always have um, at Anthrocon. Um, and here's uh, what they said, I'm quoting for them. The use of the internet to support a shared interest and activity is very interesting to me, and I also am curious about the more sexual side of the oh boy. Um, I study will um, attempt to determine two things. One, who are the furries assessed by simple demographics? And two, what is the place of the furry fandom in the context of existing literature on internet behaviors? So, um, okay, so that those are the two things that I just mentioned, but why did he mention the sexual side? Um, let's see. Now, this was uh, initially distributed on Ink Bunny. Um, so, so um, I'm interested to see how this turns out. So, we will see what happens. Um, with Halloween coming up, uh, there is a, there's usually an annual uh, trip to Disneyland Paris um, the for first years and friends. However, it will not be happening this year. Um, uh, Tim Drew, um, the event organizer, had decided to cancel it. Um, um, for this reason, there there is a uh, a new rule, is, and uh, th this is what it says: is that the wearing of certain costumes, such as those fully covering the head and head, um, will not be allowed on the costume. So, in other words, fur suits. Uh, but if you think about it, and do you understand why? Because they have their own characters over here. Some could argue uh, that um, nobody that these are not owned by Disney. Nobody would recognize them. But um, yeah, I, I I've heard this story um, for for quite a bit. Um, even a few months ago, uh, here in the Walt Disney World Resort. Um, Someone was dressed so close to Tinkerbell that uh, she was not even allowed into the park. Um, you can actually look at that story. Um, you, you, um, I mean, we, I'm not talking about a child here. I'm talking, I'm talking an actual grown-up. Um, but yeah, so the Halloween trip will not happen this year. Um, so it, it started back in 2003 and attracted up. Uh, uh, 60 attendees in uh, 2011. Uh, the status of the um, amateur costuming uh, uh, is mixed, uh, like I said. Um, Disney World uh, has been known to turn a blind eye. California's Disneyland doesn't. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, let's see what else we got. Um, I gotta give you the uh, upcoming events for September. Um, as everyone has a year for instance coming up um, yeah, on August 29th, I'm some of my friends are already getting ready for that. Um, 
on the 31st uh, to September 2nd Method for Meet, which I will be there. Um, I will explain a little bit of what I'm going to be doing over there. Uh, September 14th to the 16th, there's two events. We got Central Midwest uh, Fur Meet, which will be held in Kansas, uh, Topeka, actually. Um, and then uh, Fur Jam, which will be held in Sydney, Australia. We have um, on the 27th to the 30th will be East, or EastCon, which is held in Nebra, Germany. Also on the 27th will be uh, Rainforest, held in uh, Seattle, Washington. On the 28th to the 30th will be a uh, Furlaxation, which will be held in Columbus, Ohio. Also on the 28th will be a Western Pennsylvania Free Weekend, being held in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. So there's your event events for September. Like I said, I will be at Method Fur Meet. Um, but uh, a lot of you are going to be talking about your friends, so um, I'm going to try to get you some information on that. So just give me uh, one second. Because uh, the, the last few times I try to do um, information for your friends, there hasn't been uh, much posted on the website. Um, but I'll go ahead and give you uh, some information on it. Let's give it a second to load up. My internet's a little slow today. And apparently I can't get the inform information for registration either. It's just for if you are registering. Yeah, I guess Germany works a little different on their websites as well. <laughs> Uh, but there are some things I can give to you, uh, such as uh, their charity for uh, this year, which is um, Far From Fear, which is dedicated to the rescue and support of dogs in need in Spain, uh, mainly the Dalgo Español. It is a registered German nonprofit organization uh, that was founded in 2001. Um, the Spanish Dalgo is a, is a gentle dog that um, and uh, makes a wonderful family pet. Um, chances of finding them a new home are very high, especially if the future owner and dog can meet beforehand with with de great dedication. Uh, far from here, uh, make sure that these gentle dogs are rehomed. Until that happens, they accompany them in um, select German foster homes where they are taken care of by veterinarians and nursed uh, back to health so that they can later find their permanent home. Uh, they have about 250 members and 60 foster homes throughout Germany and they have a focus on a close cooperation of their Spanish Animal Welfare Association partners Alba Madrid, um, ANAA Madrid, uh, but they are also uh, supporting smaller shelters and private people supporting animals. Uh, let's see. Their guest of honor this this year is Peter S. Beagle. Um, he was born in uh, New York in 1939 and graduated from the University of Pittsburgh in 1959. Um, he's done classic works such as *The Last Unicorn*, *A Fine and Private Place*, and *Tamsin*. Uh, is um, acknowledged as America's greatest living fantasy author. He has written um, numerous teleplays and screenplays in addition to the stories and novels. Um, they include animated versions of Lord of the Rings and The Last Unicorn, plus the fan favorite Sarek episode of Star Trek The Next Generation. Um, in 2006, uh, Two Hearts, which is a coda to The Last Unicorn, uh, won the prestigious Hugo Award for Best Novelette and in 2007, it won the Nebula Award for the same category. Also in 2006, uh, he won the Inkpot Award for Outstanding Achievement in Science Fiction. And in 2011, he was uh, given the World Fantasy Lifetime Achievement Award. So he'll be around the con. Uh, let's see. 
Oh, they finally got the online schedule. I'm surprised they actually got it. Okay. Because all the previous times I was not able to find a schedule, I finally found it. Okay. So, uh, they start on Wednesday. Their opening ceremonies will be at, um, well, everything's in 24-hour time, so I'll go by there. Um, 17.30 will uh, be the opening ceremonies. Uh, held on uh, Hall Maritim 1, which is the main stage. Um, sign up for the Fursuit Game Show will be uh, 1900 at uh, Mar Maritim 2, which is the Fursuit Lounge and Photo Shoot. For those of you um, that are gamers, uh, we have a uh, DDR coming in um, the Bond Room, which is Panel Room 6, uh, at 2000. Uh, on Thursday, uh, Dealer's uh, Den will be open at 1200 at uh, the Berlin Room, which is uh, the Dealer's Den, of course. They will be um, going until 1800. We'll have some um, first uh, photo shooting, just be aware that you would have to register for it. Um, the registration will be at 1100 at Meridum 2, and they'll start uh, shooting at 1200. Uh, first game show preliminaries will be going on at 1330 uh, in the lobby. To the Ranting Griffin will be appearing. He'll be doing a show at 1600 at Meridum 1. And Kage will be doing a show shortly after at 18.30, also at Meridum 1. Let's see. And we'll have a uh, first uh, group photo at 23 at uh, Meridum 1, and the first friendly dance will be at 2100. On Friday... <clears throat> Once again, if you are uh, registering for um, a photo shoot, you have to register at uh, 1100 and a photo shoot will start at 1200. And the dealer's end will also open up at 1200 as well as the art show. Enter the arena, which is the Year Friends Dance Contest. It will be starting at 1330 at Marin 1. First Super Parade will be starting at 1600, which will start at Meridum 2. Uh, Rock and Rome, uh, which is a concert, will be starting at 1900, uh, which will be held at Meridum 1. And First Super Game Show Stage Show uh, will be at 2230, held at Meridum 1. All right, we have an art auction on Saturday, uh, which will be starting at 1200 at Beretum 1. Again, Dealer's Den and First Suit Photo Shooting will be at uh, 1200 at uh, Berlin and Beretum 2, respectively. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. And then we have a uh, Euroference Palm Pet Show, which um, which is a uh, Pompeii. It will be at 1830 at Marinum 1. And a Big Blue Dance will be um, uh, starting at 2200 also at Marinum 1. Alright, Sunday, not much going on. Uh, pretty much the schedule is empty except at 2000, which is the dead dog party. Other than that, the whole schedule is empty. So if you want more information on it, go to yourreference.org for all the information you need. As for me, I will be at Mifit for me uh, at that time. So I will also be um, doing this um, everything you need to know over here. All right, first of all, registration, uh, those of you attending. Um, uh, at the door will be uh, $40. Um, sponsorship, 65. Super sponsorship is 125. 
Um, if you're going for just one day, it'll be $20. And child's membership, which is from age 5 to 15, will be $25. Alright, for programming, um, Saturday, um, why am I saying Saturday? Thursday, um, we will have uh, the first day lounge open at 4 p.m. And registration will be open at 7 p.m. Uh, the gaming room will be open uh, on that day from 8 p.m. to midnight. And there is an artist jam from 9 p.m. to 2 a.m. Critter Cafe will also be open at 8, 8 p.m. to midnight. On Friday, Artist Alley registration will be at 10 a.m. if you wish to go to Artist Alley. Or I should say if you plan on um, using Artist Alley. Um, and that and dealer stand will be open at uh, noon. Uh, open fursuit games will be from 11 to 4, which will be a uh, mahogany. Um, believe it or not, there's an Uno tournament uh, from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m., which will be held at Oak, which is at the first floor. Uh, registration will be open from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Let's see, video game hours will be from 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. Um, Apples to Apples tournament from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. There will be some karaoke with um, Growl Tiger. That will be from 7 p.m. to 11 p.m., which will be held at uh, the amphitheater. <coughs> um, Guests of Honor reception will be from 9.30 to 11 p.m. Uh, at Hickory. Um, Buck Riley will be performing at 8 p.m. to 9 p.m., which will be held at uh, Mahogany. Uh, Loud Howl will be um, performing uh, the dance at 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. And 11 p.m. to 2 a.m., I will be your DJ. I am back. And unlike the last time, which I had like an hour and a half, I will get a whole three hours to DJ for you. So, so come on out, and I will spend all the best trance music for you. On Saturday, our Sally dealer stand open at 10 a.m., First Suit Parade will be starting at 11 a.m. going to uh, whenever it ends. It will be starting at Mahogany. Munchkin Tournament from uh, 12 p.m. to 3 p.m. That will be held at Oak. There will be a charity auction from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. From, uh, uh, from the amphitheater. Fursuit Games will be from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m., which will be held at Mahogany. There will also be Fursuit Games and a dance with Loud Howl at 7 p.m. to 10 p.m., which will be at Mahogany. Uh, KWKAT Dance will be uh, from 10 to 2 a.m., also at Mahogany. On Sunday... Artist Alley Dealer's Den will be open from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. There will be a Magic the Gathering tournament on the first floor from, uh, at Oak from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. The Masquerade will be from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. at the Amphitheater. And your closing ceremonies will be from 5 to 6.30 also at the Amphitheater. Um, there, will, there will be an ice cream social at uh, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m., which will be held at Mahogany. The Bucktown Tiger will be uh, uh, will be setting up from uh, 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. at uh, Mahogany, and then Loud Howl will be spending one more time from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m.
Um, our charity, as always, is Tiger Haven. So, um, yeah, donations are needed because, as we had mentioned uh, the previous year, that uh, they've been running into some legal problems. Uh, they are a safe haven for big cats. They rescue large cats such as lions, tigers, and panthers from all over the United States. Uh, they could be anything from older circus to zoo or zoo cats to cats that have been tamed illegally or were neglected and abused. Once these cats have been rescued by Tiger Haven, they have a forever home. This is a no-kill shelter that does not sell or uh, breed their cats. Um, they started with just one cat many years ago and then grew to over 250 big cats. All are uh, requiring enclosures to live in, food, and veterinary care. And these costs can um, add up and it can cost thousands of dollars each year. And they are a nonprofit organization, uh, which means they rely on donations, which is why we have our auction at Method Fur Me. So anything um, you can, it can certainly help for them. And um, unlike the others, I don't believe we have a uh, guest of honor on this one because this is a fur meet. All right, um, so that is it. Um, but, um, if you want more information on Method Fur Meat, go to methodfurmeat.org. And in the meantime, uh, how long have I gone on this video? 20 minutes. Um, so I'm pretty much making up for the previous videos. <laughs> so that is it for me, Spike Pat, blogging.